Lucas Greenhouses was started in 1978, and then we opened our greenhouses in April of 1979. We had 9,000 square feet our first year. Today we're running around a little over 2 million square feet of heated uh, space and about 50 acres of outdoor production. My name is George Lucas, um, co-owner of Lucas Greenhouses along with my wife Louise. So we grow all annuals for the finished market and we also root liners for uh, garden centers and growers all over the United States. Why do I do what I do? Uh, I didn't want to be a dairy farmer, uh, so I picked the next worst thing, which is growing flowers I need taken care of every day. But uh, no, I, I started working in the greenhouse uh, when I was 14, and I just enjoyed working with, with flowers, growing things, and you just you get a lot of enjoyment out of growing good quality crops, and it gives other folks uh, enjoyment also. We are a family business. So my wife and I, again, started the business with just the two of us. Today, uh, my three children are, are all involved in the business and other family members. You know, We have about 400 employees during peak January to June and about 200 the rest of the year. Most of those 200 have been here 25 years or better. I try to treat people like family and they treat me like family, so it's, it's really just a great work environment and uh, the longevity kind of proves that. In 1990, we started to build our first heated concrete floors, so we needed a, uh, a heating system that we could put into our floor to act as this giant heating pad. And uh, that's when we got started really building with Biotherm, and we've been building projects almost every year ever since. The boilers has been a kind of an evolution from way back. We, our first little boiler was a little Wild McLean, a uh, little boiler for the, for the little tube system that we put in. And after we did the, the Wild McLean, again, it was some years where we put in two small, uh, I believe they were Hamilton boilers, two little Hamilton boilers we put in, and they heated the, I guess it was about 18,000 square feet concrete floor that we did our first year. And then uh, in 2000, excuse me, in 1994, uh, we put in stainless steel boilers. We had two of those. And that was uh, about 55,000 square feet. And then two years later, we did another one and we put some more Hamiltons in. Actually, I'm sorry, that's backwards. We did the Hamiltons first, then we tried some gas masters. Um, and then now we're using some uh, Boiler Smith boilers, big boiler, 250 horsepower boilers in. And um, in 2004, we added another one of those. 2007, we put a bunch of Hurst big boilers in. That was, that was probably the start of the best systems that we really have. Almost no problems ever with that system. From then on, we've been using Raypax, uh, so smaller high efficiency boilers to, for our boiler systems. They both work very, very well. They're, the little guys are a lot easier to work with. They can have more local, smaller um, uh, heating reps come in and help work on them if I have to. The big guys, it's a little more technical. But uh, again, both, I think both sources work great. A lot of it had to do with the space we had and where we could get, you know, get things to. The little guys are a lot easier to put in. All, all of our concrete floors, probably about 25 acres of concrete heated water collection floors are biotherm heat. So we have hot water in the floor using either half inch or three quarter inch tube. And we have also star fin in the ceiling to give us our heat for our air, snow load, and all those kinds of different things that we have to deal with. The other half of our, our biotherm relationship is flood floors. I think we built about 110,000 square feet the first year, and we've built flood floors for all of our high-end space ever since. Um, the one we're standing in right now was built actually this past winter, about 180,000 square feet. Again, biotherm heat um, and biotherm uh, flood floors. I'm not in the propagation business with that root zone. It gives us quick, uh, quicker rooting, number one, but it really, really increases your total percentage of root. I think we're, we're rooting usually in the high 90s percentage-wise, and if you don't have root zone, you're going to, you know, a lot of crops you can't even root. The other thing that root zone does is increases the um, efficiency of your space, so you can decrease um, the amount of time it takes to root something. Now, last year, I rooted, we rooted about 48 million cuttings in the spring, another 10 million between mums and points at us. So we're rooting 55, 50, I don't know the exact number, 55, 58 million cuttings this year. Without root zone, it doesn't happen. Besides our, our root zone heating, we use starfin in the roof. Um, actually, when we 
first started with hot water heat, we, we uh, used 51 millimeter pipe in our first uh, two builds. One of the things we weren't getting is enough snow melt. So under our gutters, our first, our first real opportunity was putting starfin in under the gutters to try to give us uh, a quicker and you know, more efficient snow melt. Worked great. And so we didn't have to weld it. They don't have to paint it. I believe it's more efficient with the starfin. You have less water volume and you get more heat out of it. So all of our 25 acres, except for the first two, uh, have starfin. So eventually that 51 will go away and we'll put starfin in there too in retro. The other nice thing about the starfin is that everything is done in-house. So most of all of our building projects we do in-house. I love to build. Um, actually, I love to build more than I like flowers, but, uh, but uh, everything in, in our facilities, except for our main warehouse, we build in-house. All of the starfins put together in-house. Um, it goes together very easily. It's just gas, you push it back together, put a couple screws in, the tabs to hold it together, and you're done. So it's, uh, it's very easy to work with, very easy to work with. So the people at Biotherm have been, um, again, we've known each other for, I don't know, 40 years or something. It's been a long time. So um, I feel confident when I need something, I can call Jim or Mike and, you know, and I get an answer very, very quickly. Um, and it's been good. I think the experience of trying new things along the way, some of, some, some of our ideas have been great. Some are flops and I'm sure the same thing with you guys. I won't say the flops, but you know, they need work along the way. So yeah, the relationship has been good and I think uh, very profitable for both of us. We've done projects with, with Biotherm since the mid 80s, early 80s. I won't say every year, but pretty close. So again, it's been a long, a long good relationship.